Hello and welcome to the June reading vlog. Um, I skipped the May reading vlog because I wound up doing a Lord of the Rings reading vlog that I knew was going to take up most of the month anyway. It is most of what I read in May so like I was like let's just fully commit to this and skip the monthly vlog. So June monthly vlog. It's May 28th but I figure I'm starting off on a clean slate. I just finished up all my Lord of the Rings stuff. I'm going to be moving on to something new. It's three days. Let's start it early. So that's what I'm doing. Um, because I just spent so much time reading hella fantasy, I'm not really in a fantasy mood. I'm in a dark gritty reality mood. So <laughs> gotta go with Karen Slaughter. Because like, Lord of the Rings was a little bit of a rough experience. Not bad, very worthwhile. Glad I read it. Like, you can get my full thoughts elsewhere. But it did leave me in the mood for something that is very my thing, very my genre, like something I love. I love Karen Slaughter, very dark, gritty thriller. That's my oven. It's fine. <laughs> like, I've read her so many times and it's just like, I do enjoy her a lot. So like, this will be something good to fall back into to like not just completely burn myself out because I felt like that's what Lord of the Rings was doing. So this is Blindsided. This is her debut novel. I have read everything Karen Slaughter has published. Most everything. I might have missed like she's done some like uh, novellas and short stories and I've read some of them but not all of them I think but I've read all of her novels except for the Grant County series. There are six books in the Grant County series. I own them all. Blindsided is the first one, so this will probably be my project for the next several months. I'll probably just pick up one of these every so often. It will be interesting to see how her writing starts out because I read so much of her work. Um, but of what I've read, I do tend to prefer the earlier stuff. Like, Definitely like the earlier Will Trent novels are my favorite and then I don't know so like later on I feel like she gets like a little bit more generic maybe um but the book she published last year was amazing so like <laughs> I don't know but I do like her earlier stuff a lot so I'm really curious if she starts just like with more of that because her earlier stuff is darker and grittier and worse like not worse writing style but like worse people, worse crimes, worse everything. So I'm really curious if this is just going to be that like tenfold. Um, but Blindsided, Grant County Mysteries. I'm excited. Like I'm, I've been looking forward to this series for a really long time. So I'm stoked to get into it. And then other things this month. I don't have any other reading plans. I, I did Lord of the Rings last month. That was my plan. That was my big accomplishment for like this quarter I don't know <laughs> working a corporate job does things to your brain but I don't really have any other plans for the month apart from start this read this love this feel good again because Lord of the Rings was draining <laughs> didn't update the vlog for like three days and now I'm you know almost done with the sequel <laughs> because I really enjoyed Blindsided. Um, I don't think it's her best book, but I think Grant County is a better series than Will Trent. Possibly unpopular opinion. <laughs> but it's, Will Trent is kind of just like in this big city um, and he's just kind of like, you follow him and like his coworkers and his girlfriend and whatever. But, like, because it's a big city, it's kind of just, like, everything, you know? Like, every case is, like, new and, like, unrelated. Whereas, like, you get this book, or this series, Grant County. It's six books. It's set in a small town. It has a, like, arc to all of the books, which I really enjoy. And it's such a small town that the characters roll over from book to book which I really like. I hope some of the bad guys roll over from book to book but like so far it seems like the cases are kind of kept separate and like it's just but like the main cast of characters of like this whole town like the teachers are the same you know like the people are the same like there is not a whole lot of like new cast in each book which I really like and I like the setting and I just like 
oh they're brutal they're so brutal like I was expecting it going in but like she definitely toned herself down a lot <laughs> after her first couple books I'm uh, Blindsided was four stars for me. Kiss Cut is probably going to be four stars as well. I don't like it quite as much as Blindsided, which was graphic as anything. Um, by far the most graphic thing she's ever done. <laughs> and this is probably either like second or third, because some of those Will Trim books were a lot too, but I'm enjoying them. And then I will go on to reading something else, because I can't just read Karen Slaughter all month, because then I would run out of Karen Slaughter books and then I would be sad. But I have four books after this in the Grant County series, and I will likely read all of them this summer. <laughs> I finished Kiss Cut. Um, same night. So good. <laughs> like, plot-wise, I don't think her plots or, like, her crimes or investigations or whatever are, like, the most amazing. Like, they're just... I don't know. Like, they're fine. They're interesting. Like, they're definitely good. But, like... They're not the most amazing. Like, Kiss Cut was about, like, a pedophile ring in this small town. And kind of, like, the investigation of that. And, like, where it went. Um, very, very dark. <laughs> Exciting times. But, like, I don't know. Like, I could take or leave that plot. And, like, all the things that happened. And, like, all the bad guys involved. Like, whatever. You know? I liked it okay. But, like, that's not why I come back to these books. I just like her writing... And I like the characters, like, the main characters. Um, and I like how awful everyone is. And just, but despite that they're awful, it's not like you hate them, really. I mean, you do. But, like, they just feel real. Like, they feel totally justified in themselves. And, like, even when they, like, and she, she captures that so well. Like, even when the characters disagree with each other. Like, when Lena, or one of the detectives, does something... And she's like, in her head, she's doing the absolute right thing. And then you get to another character who's like, absolutely convinced that she was doing the wrong thing. And in their minds, they've both fully justified it. And I love that. Um, I don't think Kiss Cut was as good as Blindsided. But like, I love them. <laughs> I genuinely do. Like, I could honestly go and just pick up the third one right now. And the only reason I'm not is because... I don't want to just like binge my way through that series and have no more Karen Slaughter to read. Um, there's so I'm having such a good time though. Like I'm going to get these through by the end of the summer. <laughs> I'm just, oh, they put me in such a good mood. Like I just love them and it's nice to just love something. And now I need to find something else to read because like I just can't let myself read another one. But oh, I do kind of want to. <laughs> So I'm reading um, The Memoirs of Mary Queen of Scots, which is pretty terrible in just like every capacity. It's not a great book. <laughs> I've got basically exactly 100 pages left, so I want to try to binge through that today just so I'm not like stuck reading this for a while, but like it's just nothing about it is good. Like the character is awful and not like her personality is awful, but like she doesn't have a personality. And there's no, like, story or narrative. It's just, like, a collection of random scenes. And the writing is, like, it's it's written like she's writing it in the future. Writing it about her past. Which just makes it seem super dry and not good. So, yeah. I don't know. I was excited because I like Mary Queen of Scots. And this was just, like, nothing. <laughs> nothing. So, that's not fun. Um, but I'm going to try to get that done today just so that like it's done um and I would honestly like to read When I Hate You by Mina Kandasami like I've been thinking about it more and more and I've had it for a long time and I'm just like I want to read it so I am um I know I just did my summer bingo TBR and I'm just like let's immediately ditch it but I really want to read this so I think I, I think I will be reading this maybe not next but soon I'm in like a mood where I want to read a lot so 
I'm gonna take advantage of that and, and read a lot while I'm in the mood. Sunday, June 11th, perhaps. Not entirely certain of the date. <laughs> I have a three-day weekend because my work is going to Bush Gardens tomorrow and I unfortunately have a doctor's appointment and I'm unable to attend. So, <laughs> I'm chilling at home for three days. Well, two days. Yesterday, my best friend and I went to North Carolina. Um, we were going down there because simply christine from simply neological and sophia nygaard were doing like meetups in raleigh all day we we're like let's go for that and then we got there and we're like we don't actually want to wait in a line outside in you know 80 plus degree heat for three hours which is what the situation was and we we're like let's just hang out in raleigh all day so we did that i got super cute earrings um and a bunch of books or a bunch i got three books <laughs> which two of them are super cool i went to we went to an indie bookshop whoops at one of the places where we were like they were gonna be there in like four hours and we were like well let's wander around for a while first because it was a cool area um i had the little indie bookstore had blind date with the books so this one you can read that if you care um i don't know i picked two that were like specific enough that I wasn't really concerned that I would read them because like these I, I feel like I would recognize these details and they don't sound familiar and also like I have no idea what books they are like I don't know if they're popular books this one is tiny like it's smaller than a mass market like I don't know so I'm not gonna open them yet <laughs> I could but I feel like half the excitement is just like not knowing what it is so I'm just not gonna open them. And then the other book I got, I got from a thrift store, which is where I got these cute little earrings. Um, and I'm already reading it, which is Girl Sleuth, um, Nancy Drew and the Women Who Created Her. It's a nonfiction book about kind of the history of Nancy Drew and the family and the ghostwriters and like how she came to be and how she was popular. And it's really interesting so far. Like, I'm not very far in it's it's like a very dense book and a little bit dry because it's just like the history of all these people but I've been reading this so far this morning because it's just interesting and I bought this yesterday who says people can't change I am improving I am reading books that I buy when I buy them not the other two but this one um and also it fits for one of the bingo prompts to read a book that has girl in the title so double win um I am also reading short story collection by Robin McKinley and Peter Dickinson, which is Water, Tales of Elemental Spirits. I read the first one, which was, was it the prologue? Was it called the prologue? Yes. The Water Sprite, which was a short story they wrote combined, and the other six short stories in this are written by like three each. Or are th you know what I'm trying to say. Words are difficult. Um, I didn't really love the first one, so I'm going to be reading this slowly, probably like throughout the week. 
Um, but yeah, I have six more stories in this, three by Robin McKinley and then three by Pop by Peter Dink Dickinson. Um, and I'm, I hope they're better than the first one because that was kind of like nothing and forgettable. And I'm hoping it was just because it was the prologue. Um, and this morning I finish, oh, I have it up here. This morning I finish Percy Jackson. Um, didn't love it, but did enjoy it. It was like a fun book, just not geared towards me obviously as a 30 year old woman this was written for 12 year old children <laughs> i am no longer a 12 year old child but it was fun like it was a good time it was the kind of like fun that i would like continue reading the series if it was a duology or a trilogy but there are like five books in the series and then there are another five books in the companion series which i would also feel obligated to read if i was gonna like commit to this so i just feel like i'm not I'm not gonna continue on. Um, I read the first one. It was fun. Like, I understand the hype. There was nothing wrong with it. And, like, I had a very good time. It's just, it's not a good enough time to read nine more books. So, there's that. Um, and if you can see behind me, my map, <laughs> my scratch off map for reading, fell off the wall. I don't know why. I've never had a command hook just, like, give up before. And it's not like it's a very heavy thing. Um, it's just, like, paper with two thin like wooden boards holding it together so I don't know why it fell but I need to get a new command hook for that hang it back up again because I don't like leaving it out because I don't trust that demonic child who's above me and looking like she might jump um I don't trust her not to get on it and claw it all up I have too much fun with that map so I gotta get a command hook tomorrow and hang it back up again because it's been a few days but that's what I've been doing it's June 13th and I am making progress on Girl Sleuth, which is slow going, to be perfectly honest. It's not at all what I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be like a super quick, fun, like nonfiction about like Nancy Drew and her ghostwriters. And like, it is about Nancy Drew and her ghostwriters, but it's also like largely about like the feminism of the early 20th century and like the suffragettes and you know all the context that created Nancy Drew like not just the people although it is like also kind of biographies of like the people who created her and like the man who originally came up with the idea and like her first ghostwriter and then I think the second ghostwriter it's really really interesting like it is a slow dense book but I'm enjoying it so much I'm just I'm not flying through it like I initially thought but like the funny thing is um the guy who created her whose name I'm blanking on he created a lot of series like Nancy Drew for children at the time um like the Hardy Boys the Bobsy Twins a lot that weren't as popular and were kind of lost to time and as he and he created like this whole business that like hired ghostwriters to write the books and he came up with the ideas and kind of like engaged in quality control to make sure they all sound them. and he called it like the Stoudemire syndicate and it's just referred to as the syndicate which makes Nancy Drew just seem like this totally mobbed up thing and it's like really funny because it's like this huge like conspiracy vibe but it's just like children's books but I'm I, I'm really liking this even if it's going to be like the next week of my life um I'm a little more than 100 pages in and she's finally been created it took like 100 pages to even get to her creation but I'm I am really really liking it
quick morning update um it's monday the 19th um i did things over the weekend so i'm very tired um sunday was father's day so i went to dinner with my parents and then saturday i went to the virginia living museum which was really fun and like both very worthwhile things to do it's just it meant i had no chill time over the weekend and now i'm going back to work so yay um but I did read, not over the weekend, but last week, that I had an update. I finished, oh, if I can reach it, <laughs> Girl Sleuth, um, which was fantastic. I gave it five stars. Um, yay. That was a great book. I need to film a review for that, but, like, exhaustion. And then, because, of course, I did, <laughs> I followed that up with an Nancy Drew book, which was less fun. I don't know. It was very fun, but, like, I don't know. There's just something about it that, like, doesn't quite hit the same, you know? Like, it was really wonderful, it was a great read, but, like, the writing is super abrupt and it just- I'm not gonna say it doesn't hold up to adulthood, because it does, like, it was still a good read, like, I might read more in the future when I'm feeling it, but, like, I don't know. I don't know. It just- there's something about the writing and, like, the story structure and the pace that was just too fast and, like, I gave it three stars, like, I had a really great time reading it, but, like, it, those were kind of very distracting things in a way that I wasn't entirely expecting, but it's fine. And now I am reading There There by Tommy Orange, which I'm, like, 50 pages in. I read nothing over the weekend, but this is great, too. I'm having a great reading month again, um, which concerns me because I'm reading so many good things, and it's, like, I'm just, I'm waiting for the shoe to drop. Like, something bad is going to happen. You know, like, something bad is going to happen. But this is wonderful. Um, I, I thought when I picked this up, I thought the title was, like, they're there, like, you're comforting someone. Like, oh, they're there, it's fine. Um, but it's actually, like, the, I think, Gertrude Stein quote, there is no there there about Oakland. Because this book is largely about Oakland and, like, everything. And it's interesting it's different than what I expected it to be and like I don't really know what I expected it to be it's just different but like really good and it's kind of it's kind of almost like short stories which I'm not loving just because I am reading like two other short story books right now but it's not a it's not a short story collection it's a novel it just kind of reads like that so I don't know but it's really great so I'm enjoying this too so I finished there there this morning before work um absolutely fantastic loved it totally absorbed um i gave it four stars like my only issue is really that i kind of got lost in the plot a little in the second half of the book like not completely i i knew what was going on but there were a few points where i was just like i don't really know who this is or what i'm supposed to be feeling here and i am confused but <laughs> apart from that really really loved it so Again, because this was like five minutes before I was leaving to work for work, I needed to pick up a book to read. And I do not work well under pressure. So I kind of, in a panic, grabbed Fallout by Sarah Paretsky because I picked this up in June. This is one of my June haul books and I'm trying to read more books that like I've picked up this year. Um, so this is the third one this month that I've acquired this year. So I'm doing pretty good on that. Mm, don't love the book <laughs> it's so weird because it's one of those books that like I don't even think it's bad like I don't think it's amazing but I don't think it's bad it's just like so not my thing and it's just like I don't like her writing style I don't think it's a bad style she's just writing it in a way that I don't like and it's just like I don't think that's a bad choice it's just not a choice I like and it's like I don't like kind of the way the story is structured. I don't like the main character. And it's like, again, I don't think any of these elements are actually like poorly done, you know? Cause normally when I don't like things, or I wouldn't say normally, a lot of the time when I don't like things, I feel that it's not well done. And like, that's a subjective thought. Like I'm not saying like, I know that for a fact, it's just like, most of the time when I don't enjoy books, it's because I feel that book was not well executed. And I'm like, the execution in this is fine. She's just executing things I don't like. So it's a long book. It's gonna be a bit of a bit of a struggle. But um, 
I'm not gonna DNF it. I thought about it because I realized like eight pages in, this is not the book for me, but I am gonna read it just because I am curious. I don't know. I'm curious, but yeah, it's, I've got like another 350, 400 pages to go. Oh, I just, I wish I liked it more than I did because I have heard things about Sarah Paresky for a minute and just like in terms of her being such a big name in thrillers and she's one like I wanted to try for a minute and I was kind of hoping I'd really enjoy her and now that I'm reading her I'm like not so much. It is the 21st of June, I think. Um, still, still reading Fallout. Almost done. I'm um, getting through this really fast, which is nice because I don't love it. It has gotten better. Like, it is very, like, I don't want to sound mean, like, passable writing. Like, it's fine. Um, I don't like a lot of the choices she made, but, like, it's fine. Life goes on. Um, 90 pages left. I want to kind of see if I can get through it tonight and then start something maybe better tomorrow. Um, I do this a lot with books I don't like where I just try to get through them as quickly as possible because like I don't want to spend more time on them than I have to. So like I just kind of like binge my way through them. Um, I don't have a video scheduled for tomorrow. Tomorrow would be my normal Thursday video and I have three videos filmed ready to edit have not edited any of them um almost started one and then just kind of like gave up I need to accept that I won't do things during the week and stop planning for me to get things done during the week because I don't like and I'm not saying I, I never do but it's just like I'll read during the week. I'll watch something. I'll maybe watch some videos like I could potentially edit something but I need to accept that I cannot rely on myself to do that and I need to do all of my filming and all of my editing over the weekend because otherwise it turns into like tonight like I don't want to edit a video right now. I'm tired from work. It Work does not make me want to like look at a computer screen anymore. I want to read or like watch TV or just like chill. <laughs> I don't want to edit a video so like I had been doing better at that and then this week I was like it's just like one short video like I totally have time to edit it like yes I have time but I won't do it <laughs> so I just I'm gonna try to tomorrow just to like get the video up so it's not too late but like I really just need to accept that fact that I cannot rely on myself to do things during the week so I'm working on that and I am just trying to get through fallout because it's like I have 90 pages left I would really like to finish it tonight I'm trying to bulk film today <laughs> some reviews I have three reviews of books that I just like never did reviews for um so I got it and I want to um I have a few more that I'm not doing reviews for like I'm not doing a book review for the random Nancy Drew book I read like it's a Nancy Drew book what more do you need from me but I'm trying to do that but I'm feeling lazy so I haven't done any of them yay um I'm reading I read where is it here one of the reviews I'm doing I read A Man Called Ova by Frederick Bachman so I finally read another book by him and I feel like I'm not ever going to read him again. But I did enjoy it and cried my eyes out. Wonderful. Stay tuned for this review whenever I post it. Assuming that I do actually get it filmed, because I may or may not. Um, the two things I'm reading right now, I'm reading The Number One Ladies Detective Agency by Alexander McCall Smith, which I'm not loving. And much like the Sarah Paretsky book, and honestly much like the what's it called? The Rick Riordan book. Percy Jackson. I don't love it. I don't really like it that much. But I don't think it's bad. It's just like, not my thing. You know, like, uh, like, it's fine. It's gonna be three stars because I'm not like, not liking it. It's just, 
I don't know like I honestly need to stop picking up books that are described as funny because like funny is not my thing I don't do funny like it's fine um so I'm reading this and in addition to that I am also reading Water which is the um it's basically a mermaid short story collection I didn't quite realize that going in but it's basically mermaids so far um I've read the prologue plus the first two short stories there are not counting the prologue there are six stories total so this is nice um it's a little bit like fairy tale-esque <laughs> like it does feel like fairy tales so I'm not super loving that because it's like a little bit vague a little bit non-specific like the characters kind of vibe like archetypes rather than real people and it's just like not my thing but it's still like enjoyable and fun and I'm I'm reading it I am Mm, not that far in but I read short story collections slowly so that's fine huzzah um but I am I would like to finish this before the month is over it's the 25th now yes it's the 25th so gotta get this finished and I suppose that concludes the update and concludes my putting off filming reviews because they're exhausting um they're really like the most exhausting video to film because I do like I, I try to say my thoughts on them clearly, whereas, like, I can just dump in my vlogs. Like, whatever thought is in my head, I can share, and, like, quality is not a concern in the vlogs. And then wrap-ups are just so brief anyway, in terms of descriptions of the books, that it doesn't wind up mattering much. Although, like, I've read a lot of physical books this month, and I'm gonna finish a couple more by the end of the month. Like, I've got, like, four books, probably that I'm gonna finish by the end of the month at least so like it's gonna be a long a long wrap up I'm not really looking forward to filming it but that's fine um I should probably go do pro productive things though this will probably be my last update on the vlog because I'm posting it like two days early it's Tuesday the 27th I think <laughs> I'm not entirely certain. I'll figure out when I get to work. Um, and I am trying to finish everything that I'm currently reading before the end of the month, which I will do unless something catastrophic happens. So, like, that's not really a big ask for where I'm at in the four books I'm currently reading. Like, I'm, like, almost done with all of them except Winter Birds, which is tiny. So, like, I am unconcerned <laughs> with how that's gonna go. Um, so I'm trying to finish. These are my two physical books. It looks like I have more than I do of this. I only have two stories. They're both marked. It's probably like a hundred pages total. Um, not loving this, uh, but it's not bad either. This is weird. This is fiction. It's his first novel. I think he published it in the mid 80s. Um, I picked this up at random. Like I had no idea what this was. And he initially published it in German, even though he's an American from North Carolina, and it's set in North Carolina, and as far as I can tell, he has no connection to Germany. He just couldn't get it published in English, so he published it in German, which, like, I don't know. I was, like, because I was reading the copyrights page because I was just trying to, like, get a vibe for what this book was. And it was like originally published in German like okay um was not expecting that going in but this is fine it's essentially about a young child growing up in North Carolina um very poor very rural his father is very abusive and it's just his life and um I believe that it is very semi-autobiographical like it's a novel but it's very much based on the author's life I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I'm gonna say I'm only like 36 pages in, which is not very far, but also like there's not very much of this book. It's like barely 200 pages. Um, I honestly picked it up because I knew I wanted to finish whatever I picked up this month, which ends Friday. So I was like, let's go with something short just so like I don't feel the pressure, you know, to kind of like binge my way through something. Because I think I'm getting like a little bit burnt out on reading. So I'm probably going to read a Karen Slaughter book after this to kind of like perk me up because I know I love her. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm like 
withholding judgment thus far. I do feel like I'm having a lot of trouble choosing what to read next. Like, I'm gonna read a Karen Slaughter book next because, like, I'm in the mood. Like, it really- <laughs> I read her at the end of last month and beginning of this month. I read two of her books and it really just, like, got me in, like, a hell of reading mood. And I read, like, 11 physical books once I finished both of those this month, which is a lot for me. Like, I'll read 11 books in a month, but for- to read that many physically is a lot. So I'm gonna read her and try to, like, get back into the mood of, like, binge a lot because I like that vibe <laughs> it suits me but it's also like I don't know a couple of times this month I just found myself like looking at my shelves like I don't know what to read next I don't know what I'm vibing and it's just like I pick things up at absolute random and like I always choose things at random I'm very much a mood reader but this wasn't like I was choosing something based on my mood because whenever I do that it's like I look at a book and I just know that I need to read that next. Like, I just get that instinctive, like, this book is my next book. And I haven't been feeling that, so I've just kind of, like, been picking up random things like this. Like, I had no desire to read this. And I mean, I don't mean that in, like, a negative, like, I didn't want to read it. Like, I bought it. I own it. I clearly wanted to read it. But it was, like, it wasn't called to me. And I like it when my TBR calls to me. And it's like the third or fourth book this month where I've just kind of like grabbed it and read it and kind of not enjoyed it. And I don't know if it's the way I'm choosing books or if I'm just like choosing books that are kind of mediocre. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't like the way that I'm choosing books. I want something to call to me. And I just look at all my books and like there are ones that look good but there are not ones that look right for me to pick up if that makes sense I don't know I'm rambling I need to finish getting ready for work so that I can go and do my very boring tedious job and then read um <laughs> that's pretty much my life right now but gonna finish this interesting I'm hoping that like once I get a little more into it I'll find it like really beautiful and stunning because it's like lit thick artistic kind of almost prose poem -y. I don't know, but I'm, I'm not really loving it thus far, but that's fine. Uh, maybe I will. Um, but since this concludes the vlog, thank y'all for watching. Let me know down below if you have any thoughts, comments on any of the books that I've read this month or anything I've said. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all again soon.